Hello and welcome to today's Ripple Maker Spotlight. I have the amazing grief specialist here with us live today. So come and say hi. Give us a whoop whoop in the comments. This amazing lady, she's beautiful. She's graceful. She just has this most incredible energy uh, and I just love being around her. I'm very fortunate. I get to see her once a month at another uh, mastermind that we're part of together. And oh my gosh, she has a message that the world needs to hear. So guys and girls, come and say hi hi and it gives me great pleasure to welcome the amazing Gulam onto today's show hello Gulam thank you Sammy thank you so much and I love your background in your boat <laughs> well hopefully yeah. one day you'll be coming here I would love that I would love that <laughs> well Gulam for those that don't know you yet I really want everybody in the community to know who you are and the beautiful work that you're doing so share with us what do you do and why do you love doing it so much so as a grief specialist, I train people in how to handle grief so that they can recover their sense of peace, their joy and their passion for life. And why I'm passionate about it is that I had multiple losses when I was growing up and I was really just knocked off my feet for years and I didn't have the right knowledge, tools or processes. So I was stuck for years, years and years. And really my heart is not for that not to be other people's story and it's hard to create a life that's well lived and a life of purpose when you're weighed down with unresolved grief so that's why I'm really passionate about what I do the other reason I'm passionate about getting this message out there is that as a society we don't talk about grief and loss we don't understand what it is Yet it affects everybody at some point but we're so unprepared so really Apart from helping those who are really stuck with their with their losses, I really want to get the message out that, that there are ways you can prepare yourself so when it happens to you, your life isn't devastated. Wow. I, I mean, that's such an important message. And, you know, I mean, whenever I think of grief specialist, I always think of, you know, loss in terms of a human form, but grief can hit us in so many ways. You know, I remember when I walked away from my multi-million pound business to go and just recoup and get over the burnout. I mean, I, I felt like it was the burnout that was actually, um, you know, not, not dragging me down, but keeping me down. I felt like it was the burnout that was doing that, but actually, I think it was grief mm. that was keeping me there the burnout was something that as I as I was looking after myself and not working 18 to 20 hours a day anymore uh, my body was obviously recovering and I couldn't understand why I remember one day my mum <laughs> a friend of mine went and got my mum and my mum said oh my god what's the matter because I could not stop crying Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't feel sad and I couldn't stop crying and she said whatever's the matter I said I don't know she said well what can I get for you I don't know do you want some chocolate I don't want chocolate do you want some wine I don't want wine I remember my mum not knowing how that to is help me that is the problem so the first the first part of it is that actually the Grief Recovery Institute say there are over 40 life events that can impact our heart and cause feelings of loss and grief. Wow. Um, mostly people think it's about bereavement and somebody dying, but actually yeah. grief is really when anything comes to an end or there's a change in a familiar pattern of behavior and that leaves you with conflicted feelings. And then depending on how something happened, how it ended, how it changed, it can leave all sorts of unresolved issues, unfinished yeah. business, undelivered communication, and that's what causes the pain. So, and grief is not only negative, it's accumulative. It's like we've got a backpack. Every time something happens, if we don't know how to deal, it, deal with it, we push it down or push it into our backpack. And depending on how resilient and resourceful we are, we can carry on for quite some time, but eventually it doesn't take much really to tip you over the edge, get burnt out or depressed or anxious, all sorts of ways that it can impact your peace, your productivity. Life suddenly feels empty and pointless and definitely lack of sense of purpose, which you may have had, but suddenly you find yourself wondering what's the point? Mm. I resonate with so much that you're saying, and I can think of so many people that need you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, well, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, well uh, Gulam, what would you say, you know, to those 
uh, ripple makers that are watching us today that are tuning in for your interview what would you say to them or, or what one tip would you give them on how if they're out there making their ripple of impact and something knocks them back or um, you know I mean because that happens doesn't it especially if you have a membership I know I've felt that when I, I get re I really buy into my members like when they buy my membership they're not buying a membership I'm really buying into them I get right behind their business and when that relationship comes to an end because they're ready to graduate I actually grieve that and I'm sure that there are other people in this community that also experience that what would your one tip be for still making that impact but okay. not allowing this to affect you so you carry it into everything else so um, I'm not a one tip girl so <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think the key thing is to really take care of the condition of your heart and get the right knowledge, tools and processes that help you to end relationships well. Mainly what happens is we learn how to acquire things, but not how to complete on things. And once you've realized, actually don't allow un unfinished business, uncommunicated stuff to build up, you know, deal with it as you go along. Uh, and also just assess and be aware I mean you can't I love the idea of making great ripples but I, I realize I need to first of all be able to show up at 10 out of 10 and somebody said to me um, he felt his life was going well but it felt like he had the handbrakes on it's like driving a car with the handbrakes on so you've got to be self-aware you've got to prioritize yourself because if you're an empty vessel you've got nothing to give anybody else so if it's my one tip it's take care of the condition of your heart get help get educated but like take care of yourself so you can better serve others what a beautiful tip i'm going to take that right in i'm going to marinate on that one <laughs> Uh, Gulam, One Drop Movement is all yeah. about collaboration, uh, partnering, joint venturing and creating bigger things together. So mm -hmm. how can we support you? What sort of opportunities are you looking for? How can we refer to you? How can we support you, my love? So I've just um, set up a Facebook page called Handling Grief. So people are very welcome to find me on Facebook and ask to join the group. Um, one thing that is I would really love help with is sometimes organizations think that if somebody's grieving, it's like a personal tragedy that they somehow leave at home, but actually it doesn't work that way. And most workplaces don't prepare their staff. They don't help them to build emotional resilience for tough times because they will come. They don't um, help them to know how to support somebody who's dealing with loss. And so people either tiptoe around or they avoid them or they come up with all sorts of platitudes. They're desperate to help, but they don't know what's helpful. Or prepare staff for knowing when grief happens, this is how you recognize it. These are your options. These are the bad options. These are the better options. So I would love some opportunities to be able to talk and um, encourage organizations to have really comprehensive policies and action plans because mostly they say okay you can have three days off it's somebody's very close to you or you know we'll refer you to you know an organization that supports you but often those tools are not necessarily the right tools to deal with grief mm -hmm. and so sometimes people come to me they say oh, i've been for counseling i've been for cbt i've tried eft and various other things i don't even know what they are and they say I still don't feel like I'm really myself. And so we mm. say that's like having, if you want to paint your room, you've got to have the right tools. If you're trying to use a hammer, a saw and a screwdriver, it's not going to be helpful. Yeah. I would love to somehow get that message out there. I'd love to write a book. So and I've got no idea how or whatever, but anybody <laughs> can make those connections or encouragement. Mm. Because I think yeah. you know, so much unnecessary pain Grief is a normal and natural part of life. What's normal and not not normal and natural is how we deal with it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I want to dive in deeper with you. I want to invite you to come back and speak at a future Ripple Fest because I want you to have more time on the stage in this community. Uh, let's talk after this to, to get that planned Absolutely. and booked in. Um, how can people reach out and connect with you, Gulam? 
Uh, I think the easiest way is to find me handling grief. And um, and then I, I I can, I don't know how I'll post a link or send you a QR That's code. fine. You send it to me and I'll do the rest. You do and you do the rest. <laughs> <laughs> but, Guys um, and girls. I, I, sorry, I just oh. want to say, I do offer a free discovery course. If anybody okay. isn't sure if this is right for them, I'm happy to talk to them. There's no pressure. And then if we're, if they're not a good fit or they don't need mm. what I do, I signpost them elsewhere. Perfect. Well, guys and girls, you heard it here. Make sure you reach out, connect with Gulam. Uh, if you're in the One Drop Movement community, which I very much hope that you are, obviously I'm streaming this live into One Drop, but this is going out to other places as well. Uh, so come across the One Drop Movement community, click on the members tab at the top. You'll find Gulam in the members area. And also I'll make sure that uh, the the whatever link you give me, Gulam, I'll put with this video. Uh, thank you so much for dropping in with us at One Drop today. Thank you for really having lovely. me. Yes, absolutely. We'll look forward to seeing you <laughs> and following your journey because I, I have a feeling this is not the last we're going to see of you at One Drop. I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, my darling. Guys and girls, we'll be back for another Ripple Maker Spotlight. Remember, we are live every single weekday at 11.15 a.m. to introduce another Ripple Maker to you. Maybe there's somebody you can connect with, partner with, collaborate with, support champion remembering that championship of each other at all times is our number one core value at one drop movement and maybe even your next best customer your next best referrer of customers there are collaboration opportunities to have to be had when you take part in these spotlights so if you haven't booked your spotlight yet make sure you book it with me and i'll look forward to helping you get your message out to our members as well gulam thank you once again and guys and girls we'll see you in the next session Mwah. lots of love bye-bye for now <laughs>